Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got something really, really interesting. Tyler Mannion, IFBB Vice President and a professional judge, who actually judged at this show, explaining how the hell did Brian Ainsley manage to beat Urs Kleczynski at the Arnold Classic UK? This is a very, very controversial decision. A lot of people were talking about it. A lot of people said that it was a robbery. And you guys maybe know my opinion. I don't think it's a robbery, but I think it was a wrong decision. And I'm going to show you why exactly. So Tyler Mannion does an analysis, pose for pose. You can watch the whole thing on his Instagram if you want. If you don't want, you can basically see the bullet points, the most important parts in this video right here. And I'm going to do my analysis of his analysis. First, I gotta say it's really cool that he's doing this, that he's making these kind of videos. This is the first time ever in history that you're getting an explanation behind the judge's decisions. But when you listen to this guy, you basically can see that he doesn't know something special that none of us understand. And now you can see that bodybuilding is very subjective. It's the way he feels, what he thinks, what he sees. And therefore, he leaves this very much open for criticism, which is exactly what I'm gonna do in this video, because I don't agree with certain things he said. And I'm sure many of you guys won't either. So let me show you what Tyler Mannion has to say. Front double bicep. I think Breon still took the front double bicep here. Ur's arm size sticks out more than Breon's leg size. It sticks out a little bit more as needing to improve. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. This is the first thing I completely disagree with. He says basically that Urs is missing the arms more so than Breon is missing the legs. Come on, come on. How the hell does he see this? In this video, he actually goes pose for pose, and out of five poses, he gave three to Brion, and this is one of them, and that I could see. I would not have too big of an issue with accepting that Brion's front double bicep is better than Ursus. Yeah, okay, let's say that, because he has better biceps, and his upper body looks just better, like maybe more detailed, harder, fuller, but, you know, because of the legs and the waist size, and the proportions, you know, the length of the legs compared to the upper body, compared to the torso, you know, this is classic physique, and because of that stuff, because of the shape, and because of the leg difference, because of the leg difference mainly, I would actually give this pose to Urs. And I like the way he changed it. I like the way he's hitting it now. It's more bodybuilder-esque, but it looks classic as well because of his crazy shape, crazy X-frame, not just with taper like in the Brion's case, crazy X-frame, that's right, and with better legs, also very, very important. So overall, I like Urs more in this pose, especially the way he's hitting it now without tilting his body too much, just standing there straight, showing his crazy X-frame, lifting one of his legs a little bit up and showing some details, and also with those calves to complete the physique, I don't really mind that much that his arms are smaller, and I think he improved them too. So overall, this entire pose, man, I give it to Urs, unless it was completely different in person, which I don't think so, I mean, how much different could it be, and the main reason I'm giving it to Urs is because of his uh, frame, you know, because of his X taper, because of his silhouette, because of his shape, right, classic lines, classic shape, and that's something you can see on the photos as well, maybe you can't really see the conditioning difference, and if Brion won because of that, then okay, but is that so important in classic? I mean, Brion might be a better 212 bodybuilder, but a classic physique? No, I don't think so. And again, what Tyler said about the legs and arms, I mean, come on, come on, I completely disagree with that. Yeah, sure, Urs's arms are smaller, but are arms really that important compared to freaking legs? Legs are half of the body, but that's not the point. The point that I'm trying to make is that Urs's arms are not as bad as Brion's legs. Brion has no sweep. Literally, no sweep. Look at this, man. It basically has no curve. Almost zero curve. It looks like flat, completely flat. Urs's arms are not that bad. They are not that flat. They are not that small. What he said right there, Tyler Mannion, even though he's a professional judge, even though he's Jim Mannion's son or vice president or whatever, I completely disagree with him. I know how important, how valuable it is that he's posting this kind of stuff online, and maybe I shouldn't criticize him as harshly, but I have to be honest, I have to say what I think, and 
I completely disagree with uh, a lot of that he said in this video. So you guys can tell me down below in the comment section what do you think. Now let's proceed, let's hear his reasoning for the rest of the poses. I agreed with most of them, with three out of five. But the next one you're gonna hear, I again completely disagree with. It's the side chest pose. Take a listen. The side chest pose, Breon poses, you know, a little bit small. He doesn't have that fullness to his chest. He just has like good detail. His side leg is, is very good. Urza's side leg is very good as well. He has more fullness to his chest than Breon, but the arms and the shoulders tend to favor Breon. I would lean towards Breon. Well, I most certainly would not lean towards Breon. This one is a lot closer for me because, yeah, I can see that Brion has a lot more details in the legs. This was not Urs's best conditioning. I know his legs are bigger by far, but it doesn't really look like that from the side because Brion doesn't have a good sweep, but he has a lot of leg thickness and apparently detail. So, sure, I'll give him that. It's very, very close, but I'll give him that. But as far as upper body, yeah, sure, Brion has bigger arms and shoulders, but look at their chest, man. And it's a side chest pose. And this is classic physique. The way Urs's body flows in this pose is just more aesthetic. It's more classic, in my opinion, at least. So I would give this pose to Urs for sure as well. Because, again, let's say legs is a tie. Yeah, we all know that Urs has bigger legs, much bigger legs. But in the side poses, Brion has more details. But as far as the upper body, and personally, in classic physique... I pay more attention to the upper body in the side poses than in the lower body. In bodybuilding, I think it matters more whether you have a hanging hamstring or details in the glutes and stuff like that. But like in classic physique, in the side chest, I kind of pay more attention to the upper body and what's happening over there. And again, it's a side chest pose. Urs's chest looks better. I think he's showing better V taper. Even though his shoulders are smaller, the way he's hitting this pose, the way he's tilting his body, I think it's just way more classic and just looks better to me. So I give this pose to Urs as well. This one is close, but I don't agree with Tyler again. Now let me show you the other three poses and what he said about them. Then next up is the back double bicep. That makes it 3 nothing for Breon. The ab and thigh, for me, he takes this pose over Breon. That would make it 3-1. to one. And then favorite classic pose, I would lean towards Urs in this pose over Breon. Breon, his taper is not as good as Urs. All right, we agree on these three poses. Of course, abs and thighs, that's Urs all day long because of the thighs and the abs as well. Then uh, back double bicep, that's, that's Brian, I give him that because his back is just insane, it's crazy actually and he's really conditioned from behind. And as far as classic, uh, favorite classic pose, we agree on this one as well and Tyler finally noticed that uh, Urs does have a better X frame, better overall structure, classic physique lines. So he gave this one to Urs, but again, I would give Urs the side chest and the front double bicep as well, because overall, I do believe Urs should have won this show. It's not Tyler Mannion who decides this, he's one of the judges. Actually, at the Arnold Classic Ohio, he also had Brian winning instead of Urs, but apparently he was wrong with that decision, at least that was his opinion, and majority of the judges did not see it that way, and I would be one of them as well, I did not see it that way, this is classic physique, Urs is a better classic physique bodybuilder, even though he was not at his best here, I still think he did enough, because again, this is not 212 bodybuilding, this is classic physique, and it should be judged as such. Whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below if you agree with me or Tyler Mannion, you tell me down in the comments. Alright, next up we got something really interesting, it's finally an actual comeback of Callum Von Mulger. I mean, this guy has been through so much in his life, let's not drag this guy through the mud again, Nick Trigili, if you guys used to follow him, he, he ripped this guy a new hole basically. He was on him, like, hardcore, that was, I think he went a little bit too far, but Trigili is gone, he's not on the platform anymore, and uh, we have a physique update of Callum, basically making a comeback, and actually, finally, looking like a bodybuilder, he actually managed to come back, and to look very good, to actually bring that size back. I was honestly not expecting this, I thought he was gonna stay the way he looked for the past couple of years, this was basically it, so he posted these two photos, this is like before, and the other photo that you just saw was now, 
So yeah, he lost a lot of muscle, I don't think he was like eating, uh, not even like a bodybuilder, he was probably like eating maybe once a day, if that much, and he of course didn't train or use supplements, you know what I mean, and uh, he actually looked probably better than most gym goers, still, <laughs> because he has godlike genetics, and now that he finally got back to the gym, he basically has his old size back, <laughs> I mean, it's crazy, his muscle memory is just insane, and it's not an old photo, you can see it in his face that he's older now, I believe the last time he looked this big was like 5 years ago, so, I mean, I don't know how much it took for him, how long did he train and like eat or whatever he did, but I'm pretty sure it did not take him too long, I'm pretty sure he got all this muscle back relatively quickly, I honestly hope he's going to stay on track, I think Kalman Mogor is a great guy, and I'm really happy to see him back, looking like this, and of course, being in routine, training, and doing all this positive stuff in his life, I'm sure soon enough he's gonna be back on his YouTube channel, but anyways, physique-wise, he is most certainly back. Alright, next up, we got a physique update of Nick Walker, prepping for New York Pro, and his conditioning is apparently coming along, he is starting to look leaner and harder and therefore even more round and full, he looks, he looks nuts man, and you probably noticed that yellow coloring uh, on his pack, and uh, you guys probably saw it in his previous physique update as well, basically it's not a pack tear, it's not an injury, he didn't pull a pack or anything like that, what is it from? It's from uh, cupping, uh, which is something he does for recovery, now, now what I'm wondering is, why is that only on his upper pack, actually at the insertion point, which is where pack tears happen, was this actually a pack injury and he's hiding it, he doesn't want to tell us about it, I don't know, I don't know, but it is suspicious, something must have happened in that pack, something was probably off, and that's why he went and did this treatment, to prevent an actual serious injury from happening, you guys know what happened to him last time he was prepping, two weeks out of Mr. Olympia, he tore a hamstring by doing something that wasn't truly challenging and difficult and risky, it just happened, which is something that starts to happen to bodybuilders at a certain age, you know, he lifted heavy his entire career, now he's kind of, you know, slowing down, he's doing like more, more controlled stuff, you know, with like super slow eccentric and I would say concentric as well, like he's very very controlled in his uh, execution, but you know this guy is extremely strong, so for him to truly activate the muscle, he can't really go that light, he still needs to go relatively heavy, and you know how it is like with years of lifting with a little bit of wear and tear here and there, simply over time, especially if you lifted heavy when you were younger, and Nick did, Nick did used to go crazy with weights, if you were that guy, at some point in your career, injuries will start happening, and maybe right now is that time for Nick Walker, I would hate that to be the case, but it is a possibility, you guys saw it happen to Chris Bumstead lately, he had so many injuries, I listened to Fu Arabia, for example, he's the guy that is basically known for injuries, he had all of his injuries happen after he was like 30 something, I think, and Nick is not that old, he's like uh, 20, he's turning 30 this year, but I think he has been doing bodybuilding for a very, very long time, he started like very young, and he has been in the top at the highest level for a while now, and he's been strong, really strong for a long time as well, and I also believe it's largely genetic, you know, some guys are prone to injuries, some other aren't, again, it depends a lot on your training style, uh, for example, Phil Heath always did like machines, Dexter Jackson as well, these guys managed to prevent their injuries from happening, but I don't think they lifted too heavy and too crazy when they were younger either, and Nick did, and whatever it is, you know, right now could be the time when uh, his physique starts, his body starts to break down, um, it's just a thought, maybe that's what's happening to his chest and that's why he had to do this little treatment, I hope that's not the case, you guys know I'm a biggest fan of Nick Walker, I hope it's not the case, but it could be, it could be, 
But hey, let's hope I'm wrong. Whatever you guys think, make sure to let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, guys, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon, guys. All the best and bye-bye.